in order to diagnose GERD, yeah. you have to have an EGD endoscopy, but what other tests are there for a patient to realize if they do have, in fact, GERD? Yeah, this has been a particularly exciting thing for me in my practice. So if you look back, you know, 10, 15, 20 years, there was very little we could do besides an endoscopy for patients to help really figure out what's going on. Now, we have a variety of tests that can be done from, from the very convenient and, and accurate wireless pH monitor, something called a Bravo pH capsule, which actually can be placed and is usually placed at the time of an endoscopy. And this is a little capsule that just clips onto the inside of the esophagus. It takes about 45 seconds during an endoscopy to do this. And a patient will go home wearing a recorder. And that recorder is hidden from view. There's nothing connecting the capsule to the recorder. Mm -hmm. Patients can go to work, they can exercise, they resume their normal activity, and we get to monitor for two, sometimes up to four days, what is happening in their esophagus. When they have symptoms, are they actually having reflux? How bad is it? What's happening when they're asleep? This sort of testing is invaluable in terms of um, really tailoring someone's medical therapy or deciding if they need more than medical therapy. And so that's called a Bravo pH capsule. And in my practice, I think in terms of reflux testing, is the most widely used test. Is it uncomfortable for the patient? Uh, the Bravo pH capsule is very comfortable. There's no catheter you know, coming out of the nose. It's a wireless. I would say probably about five to 10% of patients who get the Bravo capsule for the first few hours will feel like there's something in their esophagus or like the first time they swallow, they may notice something. But after the first few hours, people don't even notice that it's there.